Okay, so in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the powered bath aid. So this one comes in two different parts. This is the bottom part, and you place that down into the bath, like this, and that's the seat. And then this is the backrest, and it just, you slot these into the gaps here, and it should just lift up and recline back like that. So this is the remote control for the bath aid. So you should always make sure that your bath aid is charged fully before you use it. And then you connect this piece into the connection at the back here. You push it down, make sure it's down fully. And then there's an up, down and a stop button. So you bring the bath up and the backrest will come up first and then you bring the bath up level with the edges. So this pack can take a bit of time but you should bring it all the way up before trying to sit on it. So when it's right up level, you get your client to sit onto it and move back in the seat as far as they can and then swing one leg over at a time. And then you can give them the remote and get them to push the down arrow to lower themselves down in the bath. You should also recommend that they fill the bath halfway with water, then lower themselves down and then fill it up a bit more if they need to, because if you fill it up fully and then lower yourself, it could overflow. So you keep going down and then the backrest will start to um, recline as well and that's when you know that you're fully back up if you've finished. So the backrest always moves first and then you start to come up. Swing one leg out and then the other one and move all the way to the edge and then you can stand up from there. So if the remote ever drops into the bath, it is waterproof but we'd recommend that you, you keep it outside the bath while you're having it. And then to 
take it out, or if someone who didn't need to use it wanted to have a bath, it always has to be fully down and fully reclined before you take it apart. Otherwise, the backrest won't move. So if you tried to take the backrest off now, it wouldn't work because it has to be the full way down. A common um, issue that some people have, have they bring the back down and then the back starts to recline a small bit and then they try to take it out but you have to actually bring it the whole way back and then remove your remote from the connection bring the back rest down just lift it out like that the back rest and then flip these down and just make sure that these black things give them a pull because they're the suction pads. So you pull them up and you can lift it out from there. And then it's recommended that you charge your remote after every use. So you bring, this is the charger and you can charge it away from, from the bathroom, you don't have to charge it while it's in. You take the remote away and you push this into the connection and just plug that into the wall and the light will come on to say that it's charging. So then you know it's charged and these come with it as well. So if your bath had integral rails here, you'd put these on so that the edges of the seat don't get stuck because if they got stuck in the integral rails it will keep trying to push up and it will ruin the motion.